uh, piece. He is also a proud member of Bethel Ailey Church in North Little Rock. He also serves in different capacities throughout the community. Mr. Davin is blessed with a beautiful wife who is Amber uh, Booth McCord. He is the father of two outstanding sons, and I must say that I know Corday, and uh, he is exciting. Um, his father is uh, very active in community services as well as um, in his church, and so he could be none other than who he is, and that is Mr. Devin McCoy. Um, please give him a hand as he comes forward to share with you. Up here. The last time I spoke at a meeting, I was sweating really hard through the, the, the early part of the meeting, and I, I wasn't really nervous. It was the lights, so I feel better today. Um, I am deeply, deeply excited and honored to be here, to be a part of this great, great school and what we have in store here. First, let me start. President Green, uh, Reverend Mary, uh, Dean Hertz, and Dean Gilbert. I got it right this time. Dean Gilbert, I was saying Dean Gilbert for some reason. <laughs> Dean Gilbert. Um, I'm, just, I'm just excited to have this opportunity to be here and to speak with you today. Uh, I want to briefly give you just a, a, a brief um, history about, about my life there. I grew up in Mariana in eastern Arkansas. Um, it was at that time one of the poorest, uh, still is today, districts in, in all of Arkansas. Um, but it was family. It was people in the community, um, it was church, uh, it was all those many things that just kind of gave me the opportunity and pushed me forward uh, to, to go to college and to do more things. You know, I have to stand here and say today that, you know, I've done work with the MIPA Commission, I've, I've worked with, um, with a couple of mayors and a uh, United States Senator and all through my, my political um, experience and political advocacy. But that probably isn't the most important time or the, most, the thing that I can stand on the most in my life. Uh, what I can stand on more than anything were those tough times. You know, those times when, even though I had great parents and great teaching and great family, sometimes you get off track a little bit. And I know that there's some folks in here that can relate to, that can relate to what I'm saying. Uh, but it took that getting off track. It took me having a son uh, when I was a uh, sophomore in college. Um, it took all of these things to get me really focused, uh, to say, Dad, you know how you were raised. And you were raised going to church. You were raised uh, in education and doing the right thing. And it took those things. And Ms. Pat can account for some of that. She's been there, been there with me through some of those tough times at, at Delta Landing. And it took, that, it took that, that kind of commitment, that kind of, of dedication, that kind of rededication, that kind of stepping back and taking a look at yourself to say, this is where I need to be and I need to get back on that path. And I need to get back close to who? To family, to people who support you, to good folks around you, and continue working. And things have been, been just really great ever since. And I will continue to work on that path um, and will continue to, continue to, to work to to make a better, better self. I just wanted to kind of briefly say that uh, because, of course, you know, we, we, we don't really know about a person's history and, and where they come from and all of that. Uh, you may see myself and, and Miss Lockhart, Miss Jackie here, and, and you know, we dress nice, speak well, and you look nice, but, but been through some stuff been through some stuff. And I want you all to know, as students here at Shorter College, that, that we understand those paths. We understand some of those challenges, some of those things that you're going through. And we want to be there with you to support it. So today, um, I, could, I could give a, a good long kind of dissertation about life and about community and about politics and all of that. But today I want to speak specifically to career placement and services. Uh, we are preparing, like I've said, to really do some really big things. And like Dr. Hurt said, Shorter is on the move. 
there's so much, so much out there uh, that we want to expose our students to and, and all of our people to get involved in. Uh, internships, um, uh, connections, network, planning, all of that are things that we're working on. As we stated before, we have a group of about 50 students uh, that we're going to start with this semester. A lot of you are in here. Um, and I talked with Erica this morning and, and a few other folks. And we will start that assessment process of going through the formal assessment of where you want to be, what you want to do, what skills do you have, uh, what's in your background, all these different things that are things that we need to pull together to be able to, to really assess and put you in a good spot for an internship and, and for a job. So today I want to go over about 10 points, uh, 10, 10 to 12 key things that you can take with you and put in your pocket and uh, start to think about as we move forward and, and get prepared uh, uh, to start looking for jobs and, and start looking for internships and things of that nature. One of the first things I want to talk about is volunteering. Finding an internship and volunteering. Man, it is so important. Um, volunteering and interning is an excellent way to get the inside scoop on job openings, organizations, and things of that nature. When you volunteer uh, or when you, when you have an internship, you're able to go into that company, even though you're volunteering, even though you're saying, hey, you know, I think back to my first days of, with the MLK Commission. And, you know, I was just a really young, young man. And of course, we weren't getting paid. We were volunteering. And it was probably the best thing I'd ever done in my life, uh, to just get a chance to be in the office with, with, with the state senator and, and to be able to be at the governor's, uh, the governor's office and, and to just walk around just as a volunteer. I may have only been answering the phones and, and writing messages and things of that nature. But I was able to start at the beginning of building connections and, and meeting people and knowing people and seeing people. Uh, to where, when I went in for that job interview, you know, that person said, oh man, I met that guy the other day in the hallway. Or I talked to him. Or I've seen him down there working at the MLK Commission. You know, and then when you go into that meeting and you talk to those, to, to the staff or the person that's hiring you, and they say, you know, how much were you making there? And my response was, well, I was volunteering. You know, I just wanted to get to know what was going on. I wanted to get involved. Something like that, that just, it's just really important. It's really important. Um, I know a lot of you say, man, you know, I'm not getting paid. Um, you know, I expect the salary and things of that nature, but we got to start somewhere. Uh, volunteering, working with internships, things of that nature is really great. We are going to provide opportunities for you to volunteer. We're going to provide organizations that you can get involved with and get some real hands-on experience. Uh, it will be greatly beneficial. Getting your degree in your special kind of, um, um, of stance, what you believe in, in a specialized training, what you believe in. Um, I remember, I know for, for some people it may be, um, it may be entrepreneurship. Um, you know, when you get into this, that skill, <coughs> Now is the time to invest. Now is the time to invest. You're at a point, you're in college. It's time to go ahead and sit down and say, man, what do I really want to do? What do I really want to be involved in? What do I really like? Uh, if, it's, if, it, if I'm on a mission, as I talked with a young lady who, who have experienced some, some issues with family and being in the, in the, caught up in the system, and that's her motivation, that she wants to go into criminal justice because she knows that she can be able to learn about criminal justice and help her family and help the people in her community. Be specialized about what you're doing and become a master at it. Become an expert at it. If, you're, if your skill is entrepreneurship, like the young lady I spoke with that has a, a cream and, and facial cream business, you know, if that's your expertise, become an expert at it. I know it may say, oh man, I'm, I'm selling creams and things of that nature, but you need to become the cream person. The person that if anybody in this school needs anything they need, they can go to you because they know that you're a master at that. You're a master at that field. Same thing with the gentleman I was talking with uh, that does tattoos. Specialize in that. Become a master at that. If that's what you want to do, just get all the information you can and just over consume yourself with it. Uh, my particular interest is, is political science and politics community ad advocacy and you know my wife teases me often because she says dad man you 
we can't watch anything else than CNN or Fox or MSNBC or anything like that. You know, it's a hundred newspapers stacked up in, 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 in my office at the house from just learning things and seeing things and remembering things and writing that special note because that's my master. That's what I master. That's what I love to do. Um, so it's good to do whatever you can to be the best at your specialty. And when you get into your specialty, it may be early childhood education. Whatever your specialty is, stay with it and grow with it. I want to talk about just some, some hardcore things here that may kind of discourage you. I know a lot of us, when you talk about criminal work records, uh, it's something that may be somewhat discouraging. Um, we're all human. We've all kind of had experiences, and there's some that may have some issues with criminal records and things like that. But don't let that discourage you. Please Amen. do not let that discourage you. Amen. There are many opportunities, like in the announcement that, 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 that was made in regards to all kinds of, of access, of, of programs, of people out there, things that you can do to help with those records. Uh, to help get those records exposed. Um, a lot of times, that's what discourages us, discourages us from even stepping in the door. But I want us to develop a comfortability somewhat of uh, being able to discuss these things or to talk about or, or to talk about a plan and I'm preparing to get it taken care of, and it will work. We also plan on working with you all, with students who have records, in establishing a way to be able to interview, interview questions, how to respond to interview questions, how to respond to that specific issue, and to be comfortable with it. Um, hopefully, we will help with, uh, with the liaison to a lot of these companies and a lot of these internships where we will have already discussed that with that employer to say that, you know, just 100% man to man, I want to talk to you and let you know that this is what's going on with this person. But this is the training that we're going through. This is what this person has done to get this record exposed. So this is what this person has done to, to try to get that off their record or to work through that. Or, or they have a six-year plan, and this plan includes this, this particular item being off their record or fulfilling whatever they need to do, whether it's probation or, or whatever that life brings us to be able to, to, be able to take that, get that taken care of and for that employer to feel comfortable about bringing you in and hiring you, and knowing that you have a good support system. So I know that's going to be an issue that we will discuss further in detail. Like I said, we have a lot of basic training techniques that we're going to provide to students to kind of help with that, and also be a spokesman for that. Cleaning up your credit. Now I know that is a, an issue you say, man, how does, that, how does that deal with education? How does that deal with me getting a job? More employers than ever are doing credit checks on potential clients. Get ahead of the game investing, in investigating your credit reports, knowing where you are, knowing where you stand. Um, there are a lot of credit um, uh, companies out there that you can use, creditkarma.com, um, a lot of these other places that's free, free of charge. Um, a lot of, we're going to also provide some, some of that kind of training. It's going to be a part of our, our workshops that we go through and pulling your credit report and actually taking a look at it and breaking that down as to how can I get this score better? What do I need to do to take care of debt? You know, it's amazing there are all kinds of things out there and all kinds of services that can be used to help with this. Uh, something as small as a dispute. Um, there are things on your credit report that you can dispute that have been on your credit report for years. and they'll just fall off, you know. Or that credit company may say, hey, you know, let's work out a plan to, to, to help this person get this credit down. Um, so there are many, many things that we're going to take a look at in terms of financial literacy. But checking your credit score and checking your credit report, knowing what's on your, your credit report is really very important. Um, I experienced this about seven or eight years ago. Um, I, was, I was going to take a job um, with a... I was going to do some political consulting with a company that was an insurance company. And uh, of course, you know, we were working, and, you know, and they ran all of my background and everything was clear. Uh, but I couldn't get hired because of my, my credit report at the time. 
And, um, and me not saying, me thinking, gosh, what does that have to do with, you know, I'm, I'll be working in politics, I'll be working in government affairs. What does that have to do with, but it was important to them. It was very important. It spoke to, uh, it spoke to my responsibility. Uh, it spoke to um, all, you know, all the different parts in my life and that, and, and taking responsible for that and getting that taken care of. So it's very, very important. Very important, ladies and gentlemen. Network, network, network. It is very, very important to begin your process of networking. And you can do that right here at, on Shorter College. Being involved in organizations, being involved in SGA, um, working with all of the different events that, have, that we have on campus, coming to chapel, listening to speakers. After the speakers get done, walking up to those speakers saying, hey, my name is Davin McCoy. I enjoyed meeting you. I enjoyed listening to you. Hey, do you have a car? Can we stay in contact? We'll begin to, as we move through, through, the next, through the next few weeks through our program, we'll bring in speakers to talk to you about job training and to talk to you about careers and things of that nature. And it's really great to just, to just go in there and just talk to them straight up. Just let them know, hey, this is what I'm interested in. This is what I want to do, and what do I need to get there? What do I need to do to get to that level? Network, network, network. It's amazing what a note can do, writing a note. Um, if, if you've gone on an interview, or you, you had someone, a, a great teacher, or a great event, you went to see Mr. Mr. Daugherty, and, and he helped you with something, it's OK to write him a note and say, hey, thanks. I really appreciate that. Look forward to talking with you in the future. You know, keep that networking going. Keep that thing going. You have a teacher that does something outside of outside the lines to help you. Write them a note. Uh, you meet somebody in, in Kroger's, or you meet somebody in Food Giant, or you meet somebody here at the college. It's okay to take their card. Hey, you got your card. I met you. Please stay in contact with me. People love to hear those things, especially especially folks who are looking for for, for people to work for them and for employers. So networking is key. Being involved in, in events, taking advantage of those events, and being there and working with people. Take an inventory of your personal skills. This is essential in developing your career plan and your career plan, your path. You know, I may, I may really like math, and, and uh, my math skills are, are OK. <coughs> but I know I don't want to be an accountant. You know, I know I don't want to go into accounting. Um, so assess your personal skills. Know exactly what you want to do. You know, if you, if you want to go into, don't say I want to be an entrepreneur just because my dad was an entrepreneur or my family or, or, or my auntie. You want to go into something specific. Take a personal um, um, assessment of yourself to say, hey, is this something that I want to do? Am I a person that would be there every day to run a business? Am I a person there that would, that would, that would be able to handle employees and do all of that? You may be a person that wants to work in the medical field, uh, that may want to just work with students or, or work with as a teacher. Whatever it is, take a personal assessment of yourself. Write down all of your personal skills, and we'll help you match them with where you want to go. But it's about you knowing yourself and knowing exactly, exactly what you want to do. Improving communication skills and soft skills is extremely important. As I stand here and talk with you, one of the things I've learned is, 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 is eye contact. You know, and I've made eye contact with several people here in, 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 in the audience. And that's what it's about. It's about those soft skills. Making eye contact. You know, having a good, firm handshake when you talk to someone. Amen. Taking notes. You know, all these many different things that are soft skills. Uh, res being responsive uh, when, somebody, when somebody calls or needs something. You know, all of these many soft skills um, will help uh, tremendously. And we will, we will talk about these things. We will have sessions on this kind of stuff. Uh, we may talk uh, 15 minutes about the correct way to, to shake a person's hand. You wouldn't believe it, but there's a science to it. You know, I didn't know that myself until uh, I met a gentleman that, that, that worked in politics for a long time. And he, and he had one of the smoothest handshakes that I had ever seen, and that was just his thing, you know, and I noticed it, you know, and I asked him one day, I said, man, you know, why you shake hands like you shake hands? And he said, 
Dad, I went to a handshaking class, you know, so I would know the correct way to just connect with people and to just know that, hey, I'm understanding where you are and we're, we're connecting and, 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 and communicating. That's extremely important. Developing those soft skills, um, uh, being confident about what you're doing, going in, being strong and confident is extremely important. We're going to help you with all of those, building those skills and, and, and corralling those skills as we move through our program. I also want everyone to think about unconventional kind of, of things that you can do out here in this community. Um, I, I know that we have you know, criminal justice, but just take a look at that and go a little bit deeper. You know, do I want to be a bailiff? Uh, do I want to be a lawyer? Uh, do, I, do I want to go into advocacy uh, uh, for folks who need help? All of those things. Take a look outside the box sometimes. I want you to put together a list of, of different jobs that you're really interested in, but include in that list some out-of-the-box things uh, that, that, that you can kind of stand on and depend on and look forward to. If you have those special skills um, and, you, and, and you gain those skills, Specialized work, specialized training is out there, and people need employers and need employees to go into that field, or to go into those specific fields. Um, so that is very, very important. Job seeking is difficult for all of us, but it is, it is proven most difficult for um, African Americans um, and in some demographics and, and lower income communities. But it is our goal here at Shorter College to not pay attention to any of those statistics, or any of those things that the folks say out there. It's our goal to ensure that we're on an equal playing field with everyone. Um, you know, I'm going to say that, as, 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 uh, as Doc said last week, that we have to work double hard. We have to work double focused. You know, and uh, we have to take advantage of our, of, our, of our teachers, of our staff, of our people that's here, and continue to work. And there's nothing wrong with that. You may say, man, it's unfair that we have to work double hard. But that's, that's reality, that's life, and I guarantee it's going to pay off. Uh, you know, the White had some, some staff stand up and talk about some of those challenges. And the thing that stood out in all of that was I had to take the extra mile to do my work. I had to reach out to teachers. I had to network. I had to become involved in organizations. I had to do all those things uh, to rise above, rise above what was being thrown at me so that I could be successful. You know, I know that we had that here at Shorter College. I believe in it. I'm committed to it. Our staff believes it and, and is committed to it. Uh, I just wanted to share these quick points with you to something that you can put in your pocket, take home, think about today. Um, I'll be reaching out to you all and we'll be talking one-on-one -on -one individually and uh, I believe through our work with, with Reverend Mary, through many of our partners, with all of our staff, that we will be able to help with finding internships um, and we'll be able to work through some of those hurdles that you're facing. I just want you all to know that, that we're here for you. Um, I don't want you to be afraid to discuss certain things with us. Um, about your career, and about your, your, your past, and about your future. And uh, I can assure you we would do everything we can to, to get you trained and, and to get you access to employment and to potential career paths down the line. Uh, once again, please contact me if you need anything. I'm going to give you my number. Um, I don't have a number on the website yet, uh, but my number is 501 940 Seven six zero two. You can also catch me at davin.mccoy at shortercollege.edu. Please call me. Uh, if you don't get an email from me this week, please come by my office or please see me. Uh, I apologize if we missed, missed your info or missed your name. Uh, but it's time, to, time for action. Uh, you guys are in a great, super great position here. Great college. Um, great staff, great support staff, and like I said, it's my goal to help with that circle of service and, and that circle of love that we have here at, at Shorter College. You know, it's amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I go to many different events, and you know, I'm just involved, I know a lot of people, and 
uh, I have to tell folks when I when I talk with them that I'm at Shorter College and, and I'm so proud of it. And they see it within me. They see it. Um, and, and I want I want these people out in the community to be able to see you all and to know that you all are direct reflections of Shorter College. I'm just I'm so proud and honored to be standing in front of this group. You guys don't even know. Uh, that you are the future and, and you are our leaders and that we stand behind you. 100%. So take some of these tips. Uh, if you need them directly, we will break them down completely throughout our sessions. Uh, if you need this information, please contact me. I can get it to you. Uh, once again, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.